All right, everyone, I'm back. Okay, back to some more of Breath of Fire 1. Now, we are so off. We actually made it to Winland. The Kingdom of Winland, that is. Okay. We're actually going to do a full save. Okay, let's check out gold. 23.28. Not bad. Scan day. Here's the equipment shop. Sweet. What we are going to do is we're actually going to buy some healing items. Mainly some acorns. These actually restore magic points. And I think we're going to get a couple normal threes. Just to be safe. Trust me, you're going to find out why I'm doing this. Actually, very shortly. That's Princess Nina. Yes, this is a win win. That's Princess Nina. This is the only game in the Breath of Fire series where it's actually called win win. The real title is, for anyone who's played it, Breath of Fire would actually know it's called Windia. why I bought all those healing items. If 
first, I'm going to check... Okay, good. You can't put that. Damn. I might have to... I sell them uh, equipment for me now. Let's see what we got over here. Sweet helmet, sweet shield, an antidote, and an herb. Ah, nice. See, can Nina use this? Yes, she can. Now, I'm actually going to have to get this, I'm going to have to find a... Uh, I'm going to have to find a weapon for... Now, there's one thing I should mention. In most of the Breath of Fire games, Nina can actually only use attack magic. In this game, though, and only this game, she uses... She actually uses healing magic. This is the only game in the Breath of Fire series where she actually does so. Okay. Grab some items. A couple more, a couple more herbs, some antidotes. Now, next thing what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to head to the equipment shop. Let's see what we got here. Check my gold. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, do I actually have anything that... Oh yeah, yes I do. Yes, there is something here. Another thing that's actually interesting. Another thing about another interesting about Nina. Not only is this the only Breath of Fire game where she uses where she only uses healing magic, but it's also the only Breath of Fire game where she uses a sword. In all the other ones, she uses attack magic and either a staff or a rake as a weapon. Ah. Can't do that. 
that yet. We will be able to get over there eventually. That's not yet. First thing, we're actually gonna exit Winwin. Also going to head to that. Now you remember that little cave I actually showed you earlier, next to Winwin. That is actually where we're gonna go. That's our next destination. These two guards. All right. Now, and we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're these soldiers are, we're not, we're not, these soldiers are, basically they're actually just temporaries. They are just temporaries, but they can be extremely helpful. Now, there's actually something I want to show you. Check this out. Remember I actually said the Earth Key was actually going to be extremely helpful for pretty much half of, until about that second half of the game? Well, I'm going to show you why. I'm not sure what it meant. Thirty damage flat on every single enemy. And what's also interesting is that it's impossible to it's impossible to dodge. Oh nice, a cure. That's gonna be helpful. Ah, uh, so it's, it's the second soldier that actually has the higher agility. Ah, sweet gauntlet. this <laughs> very nice okay yeah, we're here we 70 gold Let's see what's over here. Let's see what's in here oh nice that is gonna be helpful big time, that iron ore. We're gonna need that later on. You can actually go back for it later, but trust me, it's best to do it now. That was actually the item I was actually looking for when I came here. 
Man, he's gone. Dead. Never have too many healing items. Dead. Yep, 30 damage flat on every single enemy. And you can use it as many times as you want. It has infinite uses. That's the other thing I think is so good about the Earth Key. And we'll head over here. Heading down this way. Ah, oh, that's a cold stone. It's an ice attack. Dead. I think I want to check. I'm not sure to see which one of these soldiers is actually the fastest. Let's see. Agility 38, 24. Okay. It is Soldier 2. He's also the strongest. Okay. Ah, getting a decent amount of gold here. 25, 22. Alright. Romero. Karma to the west and Agua to the I'll show you why that hole is there in just a moment. Actually, what I'm actually going to check is I'm actually going to check the um, rest of the houses and then the equipment shop. And those are the undeads. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. 
Wow! The more expensive piece of equipment actually provides less defense. <laughs> what kind of sense does that make? I would not equip the the soldiers. Like I said, they're only temporary. Nina is the one you're going to equip. There we go. These are almost all my gold, but eh. Alright. Heading to Karma. Yes, there are treasures here. Whoa! Uh oh. Whew. That's another reason why I like that Earth Key. Get rid of those poison bugs pretty quick. You get a character later on. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what's over here. Critical hit. 
Nice. Like I said, there's a lot of poison enemies in this area. Spiders can poison you as well. And yes, there is a boss fight. Actually, why I wanted to get as much golden experience so that as I could.
this way. Gone. Ah, nice. Healing herb. Never have too many of those. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Yes! Alright. Sweet. Ah, Nina's got... Nina's actually got some pretty good defense now. Actually, I think, I think her defense might be higher than Reed. Yes, I know what I know where I'm going. So actually just doing some rolling up and getting gold. Oh that's gonna be helpful. That is a life. Very good. Then I'll actually revive dead characters. Very helpful. They're not easy to get, but certainly in the game. Either. Get out of here. Head to Karma. Attack up! Oh, that's gonna be helpful. Especially later on. Okay. Him. And here we go. Whew. Creepy, isn't it? And here's where a lot of the poison enemy poisonous enemies are.
heading this way. Get rid of them. Not this one. We got this. There's another boss fight before you fight the wizard. Oh, I hate this battle. Oh, it's Morn. Unfortunately, it's not that difficult to beat. This is the wizard you want to watch out for. This guy is a... that guy's a real pain. Dead. Get out of here. Okay. Now, we'll grab that treasure box. There's actually a few boss fights in this area. You gotta fight more. I think that it's... Yeah, I think there's actually one more you fight before you fight the wizard. I'm not positive on that one. Oh. More spiders. That is going to be, that's one of the most important items in the game. That, my friends, is a moon drop. That, rev that revives and it heals every single party member to full health. I would not use it. I would not use them unless you absolutely need to. You, usually what I do, I, I usually keep them in storage and I don't even use, I usually don't even use them until near the end of the game. Trust me. You're definitely gonna need to. You need to save them. They're actually, they're actually less than 50 of them in the entire game. No joke. These guys are easy. Have the soldiers defend. And they're gone. Dead. 
stupid. And dead. Getting a lot of gold here, I actually noticed. I guarantee I'm gonna have well over 3,000 gold by the time I get out of here. That's gotta hurt. Oh, a, oh, a charm. Told you. <laughs> Three thousand six hundred forty-eight gold already. To me, thanks to those poison bugs and the spiders, they give you a, they give you a ton of gold. Now, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to head back to the other area. Now, I actually want to get that other treasure. Even 10,000 gold is chunk change compared to the actual amount of gold you actually need. And there's the other boss fight. I knew there was another one before the wizard. Everyone! I'm actually gonna cut the I'm gonna cut the video off here. When I come back, we're actually gonna continue through Karma and hopefully take out that evil wizard. Don't go anywhere, I will return. <laughs> <laughs> 